guys, what is going on? This is regular Josh one here. So if you guys watched my last couple of streams, you probably remember me mentioning that I wanted to start reviewing bad animated ripoff movies. I honestly have no idea. Maybe because I just like torturing myself. I don't know. Well, during the stream, I got a couple of movies that people wanted me to check out. One of them was A Car's Life. I've already seen that one, and I would rather I not experience that again. Another movie that people wanted me to see was An Ant's Life. Yeah, um, really creative titles here, guys. What's next, A Plane's Life? Or A Boat's Life? A Train's Life? I'm giving them ideas, so I might as well stop while I'm ahead. But anyway, I decided that I was going to check out An Ant's Life, and... Oh boy. First off, I would like to mention that this movie did come out in 1998, obviously ripping off of Disney's A Bug's Life and DreamWorks Ants. I mention that because I want you guys to know that this is not an excuse for how horrible this animation is. I mean, good god, how can anyone animate something like this and be proud of their work? I mean, unless this was your first time animating CGI, I guess? But even then, back then, I would be very ashamed of this. The characters look ugly, the movements are terrible, the scenery is almost non-existent. The whole thing is just incredibly awkward to look at. And the background music certainly doesn't help. I mean, what, did a five-year-old compose the music for this movie or something? Now, I'm sure you guys are wondering what the plot of this movie is, and well, don't come to me because I literally have no idea. I mean, is it about the ants or is it about the caterpillar who apparently turns into a moth at the near end of the movie? In a way, it seems like this caterpillar guy was more of the main character than the ants were. It was weird considering the fact that this was called an ant's life. The three main ants for the majority of the film only really collect food for this queen ant who isn't really an ant and she wants to get rid of the others and take over their kingdom by laying larva? The most disturbing thing in this movie was seeing this mantis character eating her husband. I mean, I know that's realistic and all, but this was meant for kids, right? There's also this side plot, I guess, where these two lizards want to eat these bugs, yet the mantis doesn't want them to eat her food, supposedly. Strangely enough, she never attempts to eat them, yet she just talks about how she's going to eventually eat them. I guess she just wants to spook them or something. I mean, when you really think about it, she was a very, very pointless character. Hell, this entire movie was pointless, okay? Like, like, what the hell am I talking about? I'm not really gonna talk about the voice acting in this movie, mainly because we all know where this is gonna go. In all of these knockoffs, the acting is terrible. Hey, Sal. Hi. Sal, it's pretty dangerous out here. You should wiggle back to the brush. Huh, <sighs> can't. Geckos. Geckos? Lizards from Malaysia. They lurk in the shadows. Now, if I have to be very honest with you, is this the worst animated ripoff movie I've ever seen in my life? No, not, not really. There has been some movies out there, Legend of Kung Fu Rabbit, that has made me angry as I've watched it. Some of them have also made me cringe incredibly. This movie, I honestly felt nothing. Maybe it was because I knew this was going to be terrible going into it, or maybe I'm numb to this kind of stuff now? That's definitely not the case, because there's still stuff that shocks me to this day. I think compared to some of the other ones that I've watched, this movie was incredibly boring and completely uninteresting to watch. I mean, this movie was only 25 minutes, but it felt like it went on for an hour or so. Some of the scenes in this movie just dragged on for like way too long. Like the chasing scene between the moth and the lizards, it just dragged on and on and on. It felt so taxing watching this film. But with all that being said, was it still a horrible movie? Yes, yes. I wouldn't recommend this to anyone, but if you still wanna check it out, I guess you can? Honestly, I really hope that I don't 
watch anything as terrible as this film. Considering the fact that I want to start watching more animated rip-off movies, this is not going to be a huge guarantee for me at all whatsoever. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If there is any other animated rip-off movies that you guys would like me to review on this channel, please put all of these recommendations in the comment section down below. And also, if there's any kind of videos that you guys want me to make, whether it be a reaction video or a rant video or a review or whatever else you guys would want me to do please put that in the comment section down below so I can at least possibly have something to do for the next video even though I already have a plan for what my next topic is gonna be and uh, oh boy you guys are in for a treat on that one if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and until next time I will see you guys later thank you guys so much for watching this video hope you guys have a good day see you next time